So we're on to the next one here. Tank's currently dying. Just heal him up. So we're going on to Spore Cooler Zansha now. Grotesque horror. Level one up. So these kind of guys look good. They kind of look like the Inquisitors out of like Arcway, but with you know a Zandalari and Dead look to them. Hopefully we don't pull these guys. Just gonna move up here. Okay, I'm gonna put my totem down so everyone gets shielded and use chain heals and healing rains. Just so everyone's getting healed. Just focus heal everyone up. Put down my healing streams. And focus on the tank. Put down my... Ugh, I need mana. But yeah, I did a video before as me as discipline. Let me just eat this. Just quickly eat some mana. And just go heal them up. Put Riptides on them. Because obviously when I do a Riptide, it gives them a healing over time, so... And yeah, in the video I made with me exploring, I thought that would happen, where the mob would kill, you know, everyone. Just quickly kill these next two, these Inquisitors or Defilers, whatever you want to call them. Chain heal. Just put my totems down and heal everyone up. But as you can see, the values for Shaman are a bit off because, like, the healing just seems to be retardedly low. Like, as Disc, when I was doing my, like, Atonement heals, everyone was getting healed for, like, 2k, 3k. But now it just seems that my passive heals as Shaman just do zero damage. So it seems that that little line there was dealing damage. So I don't know if that's a dot over time because I keep taking damage. I don't know. But it seems that if you walk into them, you'll take big, big damage. Just put down healing range just so everyone's getting healed. And put down my shield to him. Put down earth shield on the tank. Seems that this boss is pretty pretty simple upheaval. But it seems that there might be something to do with this ring of spores, because you know it seems that as though that's quite a bit. Maybe you know, when he shot waves, they explode, deals damage to the raid or the dungeon, sorry. But yeah. Let's just quickly get my mana back. That seems a pretty simple boss. Nope, no bugs. And quickly eat up. Faceless corrupt. Oh, hopefully they don't take too much damage. We'll get back up. And use Spirit Walker's Grace so I can cast a move. Shield down, my totems, maybe get ready to link. Yeah. So it seems as though they're immune. I don't know how they're immune. Oh. Put down my capacity totem. Just so they all get stunned. Healing wave. Just 
make sure I get all my riptides off. So I think we just move to the next part. Yeah. Just kill all these grotesque horrors, put a shield on the tank, heal everyone else up. Is that Defiler hitting us? No. Nope. Oh, it seems they pulled that. Focus on the tank up. Healing surge. Healing surge. It seems Shaman just off these values just seems really, really trash. Like it seems to now like really really punish you before if you if you're using heals without your um, stacks of tidal waves. Because before in Legion it was quite like, you know, it wasn't as cooking if you didn't heal with a riptide. But now it just seems if you do one without a um, without a tidal waves, it's just literally the biggest cook in the world. You don't heal anything. As you can see now, I'm popping all my cooldowns and it's just unhealable damage. Just un like in a shaman before in dungeons, if you, you know, popped all your cooldowns, like no one's dying. It's just you're doing so much healing output, but currently it's just Well especially on the alpha it just seems as though you're doing, you know, nothing. I mean, unless I'm taking a completely dodgy talent, which in my mind I'm not, because, you know, Echo of Elements, the free Riptide, the free Healing Stream, Ascendance, just that burst healing, you know, distributing all healing to allies, it's just, you just don't have that much healing, it's just kind of stupid. So whether it's the shaman values or the this dungeon's values altogether, but it seems that this dungeon's pretty balanced, especially the boss part. But it just seems that, you know. I don't know if this guy's still did he kill them all? Or did he res? I'm not sure. Oh, found another bug. Quickly get out of there. <laughs> For some reason, I can't do my res. Ancestral Spirit, just res him up. Then heal up Rekidan. Heal him up. And then use Tidal Waves. And slip past these. Need to get my stacks of tidal waves up. So use healing surge. Just make sure I'm not using any healing surges without a tidal waves. Try and put tidal waves on every single party member. So it seems shamans for sustain healing is really good, but for burst they've just got literally nothing. Whereas before they had their their major cooldowns. Seems that healing tide's still as good as it was, and it's healing for a lot. But ascendance is definitely I can feel the nerf in it. But now we've got brothers for this boss, so it should be relatively quick. So now this is the one where we assist 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 the timekeeper. The Titan Keeper, sorry. Just pop cooldowns, pop the out. And just heal for my life. So I think you have to kill the ads here. Because it seems the boss is just not taking damage. Oh my god, that does a lot of damage. So 
So it seems I can dispel off this dot. So I'm going to quickly do that. What on earth is this boss? I've literally, I'm literally just focusing because I have no idea what is going on. Like, I don't... It just seems as though... Like, what does the Titan Keeper do? Vile. So that clears everyone's stacks. So I don't think you're meant to attack the abomination because it seems to do too much damage. So like when you attack it, it gets empowered. Let me have a quick look. So the Underrot Unbound Abomination. Putrid Blood. So I don't think you're meant to actually... So it seems like I'm not, seems I'm meant to dispel, but I don't physically know how I can dispel quicker than, you know, the eight seconds. So like I have to do one person after another. I should probably do the hunter first, because he doesn't have a lot of self heals. And then leave the monk and the tank to karma and stuff like that. So I probably should have held my healing CDs as well. That would have helped. But especially like a monk or a or a priest here with master spell and revival would be really really good. Just quickly res this guy. Just quickly heal him. go and now off we go so we'll get ready for when we get our first few dots so we stack to clear our so I'll put down healing tide just quickly See, this is where I don't think you should be damaging him. Doing so much to the boss. Because he keeps putting out these ads. So everywhere, violet eruption is what is doing big damage to everyone. So just heal everyone up. Try and heal as much as possible. I'll get ready to clear his stacks as well. Gonna clear mine next. Clear the hunters. Heal myself for a bit. Heal the tanker. Heal myself. You know, the tank. Spell the DH. 
Heal the tank. Heal me. Oh my god, that boss is hard. What the fuck? Bosses. That boss is hard, dude. That boss is so hard. That boss is insanely... Like, uh, there's only so many actions I can do per second. Like, you have to save all your CDs, everything, for that last. But like, once you've run out of dispels, you're screwed. And since dispel costs so much mana to do, that just seems crazy to me. But yeah, I'll be doing more videos in the future, so look out for that and subscribe if you liked the video. And see you on the next one.